Welcome back. Right now, 923 this morning, Science with Sarah. Sarah Spivey and David Sears are out at Halotus Elementary. So instead of doing just one experiment today, they're actually doing a few different ones with dry eyes. And Sarah, what's the number one rule when dealing with dry eyes? you got to wear gloves. That's the number one rule with dry ice. And our students here have gloves and they're ready to go. We're also here with the zoo today with Greta. She is amazing. What have you guys got going on for Easter? Well, Greta is our little three-banded armadillo, and she is here to invite everyone to come to the zoo this weekend. Of course, it is Easter, and we are celebrating. So we've got egg hunts. You can come and meet the Easter bunny, and we will be doing animal encounters with all of our little animal ambassadors. So come to the egg hunt, get to see some cute animals, get some candy. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so excited. It's going to be wonderful. Thank you guys so much for being here. Absolutely. They did a great job with the animal ambassadors. Did you all enjoy seeing Loki and, yeah. and the armadillo? Awesome. Okay, well, the first experiment we're going to do is we're going to do the big bubble experiment. Now, we're going to put some dry ice in this bowl and draw a shoestring across with soap water to hopefully make a big bubble and see what happens. Let's try, David. So the gas, uh, dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. And so it helps. Oh, keep on going, David. You're doing it. You got to go quick. Let's see what happens. Oh, man, so close, David. Okay, do you guys want to try? Yes. Oh, so close. Okay, why don't you guys try here to do this? Everybody try. This is one of our first, you got to make it tight. All the way at the end here. Oh, got to try to draw the bubble across. Good job. If you get a bubble going, let me know, okay? It's going, it's going, it's going. Oh, that was so good. You got it? Okay, let's see. There it is. There it is. Wow. And then we pop it and then it was Well, let's wait and see if it'll pop by itself. Oh, it popped by itself. Good job. That was perfect. Yeah, keep on doing it. Let's see if you guys can. If you get a bubble going, let us know. It's kind of trial and error, right? Like, dip it in the soap, make sure it's really good. Oh, that'll be great. Keep on going. You guys got it. Close. Oh, you've made a bubble. So you can see. Look. Here it is. You got it. You got it. Way to go, guys. Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like a rainbow weather map, right? Wow. Let's see. Let's see what happens. It's going to blow. Who wants to pop it? Go. Oh, awesome. Look, we've got another big bubble here. Okay. Let's hope. Why don't you pop it? Go for it. Go. Oh, you're. Okay, so coming up, we've got three more dry ice experiments. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah, we're going to do it in just a bit. Awesome. So coming up, we'll do three more. All right, we are doing the candle experiment next. We're working with dry ice. All right, so we got your candle burning. What is going to happen if you put the dry ice in next to that candle, you think? It's going to go out. Why? Because... The carbon dioxide takes the oxygen away. And that causes the flame to burn out? Yes. All right, okay, let's, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, Good isn't Lord. that cool? So there you go. Okay, you guys want to see have this? To blow it out. Yeah. It just okay, went out on see. its own. Here Pretty we good. go. So, what's making the candle burn right now? Uh, what's there making the candle burn? Yeah, it can burn because there's oxygen in the air, right? Boom, there but it then goes. That just Sucked out all the oxygen. Isn't that cool? So you don't yeah. want to get caught with a lot of dry ice around. Well, it kind of smells like smoke now, but I think we'll be good. All right, here we go. What do you think? Oh, I just put well, it on top easy. of it. That's, that's easy. easy. Boom. <laughs> Took care of that candle. All right, let's try this one, guys. Okay, now you guys. Let's see. So if you put a. Yeah. Boom. There you go. What happened? It sucked out all the oxygen because dry ice is just... So could you imagine if you were stuck somewhere with a whole lot of dry ice, what would happen? Uh, probably die. Watch that. Can't breathe, right? Can't breathe. There's no oxygen. There's no oxygen. Took all your oxygen away. 
a lot. I have like 10 pounds of dry ice, guys. You can get dry ice at H-E-B, by the way. What? Yeah. Okay, the next experiment we're gonna do, you guys came up with a hypothesis of what happens when a metal spoon touches dry ice. Okay, I call this experiment dry ice musical instrument. So what I'd like for you to do is using your gloves, I'd like for you to take the spoon here. We're gonna let him do it if that's okay. And push it on there and listen. <laughs> Sounds like a zoo animal. <laughs> that's like what? Crazy, isn't it? Wow. All right. Here, flip your, flip your dry ice over so you can do it again. Do it again. Okay, the spoon's probably got a, got a warm up. Here. After your spoon got cold. Oh. So why do you guys think it's making that noise? Any idea? No. no. So here's why it's making that noise. Is because, remember how I talked about it turning to a gas? Oh, it turns yeah. to a gas so quick because it kind of sounds like a toot. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay. All right, let's get ready. Who is ready for the next experiment? Why does it make that noise? You guys remember? <laughs> Whoa, that one's cool. Wow, that sounds like that sounds like the school bell. <laughs> what a fall, that sounds like a telephone ringing. Hello. All right, our next experiment, guys, <laughs> is like called. <laughs> our <laughs> next experiment is called <laughs> billions of bubbles. You can take your, using your glove, take your dry ice and put it in your beaker, which has soap and water in it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow. Yes. You guys look like mad scientists now. You can take off your glove and you can touch the bubbles. Do not touch the water, but touch the touch bubbles. What's it feel like? It feels you need more soap. It feels okay. Is it warm or hot or cold? A, a little bit of both. A little bit of warm, a little bit of cold? Yeah. Because the dry ice is cold. What's it feel like? It feels it feels like it feels like bubbly. I want to yes, remind good. everybody here that in a cup, a week and a half, we've got a total solar eclipse. We do not want dry ice clouds in the atmosphere for the total solar eclipse. You can make an eclipse viewer uh, from Size with Sarah on KSAT.com, so check it out. Guys, oh, look how cool that is. You're holding the dry ice bubbles. That's awesome. So what is the is number one your hands? rule when yeah, handling probably. dry ice? Don't it was don't soapy? Touch yeah, don't like. touch it with your bare it hands. It just feels like clouds. Pretty cool. Like fog, but more watery. How do you know what fog feels like? I Alrighty, everybody, was this a fun experiment? Yes. Okay, let's wave to the camera. Say hi to your mom and dad. Hi. 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 Experiments, you can go to ksat.com. Very cool. Right. Hi, guys. Thank you, Sarah, David. Thank yeah. you guys out there.